Hello, in this video demonstration we are going to cover how to edit ma or, or manage uh, web profiles. And so to manage a web profile we first need to start um, from the correct spot. So we are going to be in the content managers uh, section of the, uh, the old website, the old school of ed portal website. So content managers, and here's the URL here um, to this to this particular site. And what we are interested in is in this top link, um, faculty and staff profile admin. So go ahead and click on that, and we want to modify. And I'm going to use mine as the um, to be able to do that. Let's see here. Let's go search for search. And there I am, staff. What we're going to do is edit. So we will click on this uh, pencil icon. That's the edit icon. Go ahead and click that. Now, once we're in here, you can see um, <coughs> we have a few options. And what we are concerned with is, you can see here, I am I'm a staff and a student. Um, my office number. Uh, these are the affiliations. Now this is important because when you are editing a faculty profile and you want to add them or remove them, there I'll show you. So let's go uh, degrees and programs. IST. I'm a student in the IST program now. See this list of faculty? Um, this is not editable in the WCMS website. This list, displayed in alphabetical order, comes from a feed. And the source of that feed is where we were just at this content managers part of the old website, where all the profiles are kept and it is this affiliation section in particular right here that allows any anyone that's identified as faculty in instructional systems which I'm not I'm a student the faculty that are instructional systems technology professors triggers them to be entered into this feed which would then put them into this list naturally so to be clear this faculty list and any other similar list on any other program page is f from a list that is fed into this tab here. It is not something you can manually go in and edit and insert a faculty member's name and add a link to their website. No. It is a feed and the source of that feed is from the content manager portion of the old website where you control their affiliation. So if I were to add myself as a faculty member to instructional systems, I would too show up on that list. But I'm not. So I'm going to remove myself from that. I'm not going to save that again. So, <clears throat> um, that is how you control and manipulate a profile. Um, now, to be able to, to do any of these changes, one needs access. And that is something we can grant an ETS. Um, trying to think. Um, it is important to know that any change. So let's save this. So first, you have you must preview it. Yeah, that looks good. Save. Changes have been applied. Now the changes are made and updated every day at noon. And so. What I just did won't appear on the School of Ed if it were to appear on the School of Ed website, which mine doesn't uh, because I'm not a faculty member, but if it were to appear, something like that. I, I edit a faculty member and I make them a new uh, faculty member of the IST department. They would not show up on this list until after noon of the next day because changes are made from the profiles once per day and it's at noon. 
So, uh, also works the other way. Say I want to delete somebody, and somebody is no longer associated with the university, they've moved on. So, um, we will use Dr. Pershing as an example, James Pershing. So what I would do is I would, I would go into his profile, and I would edit. Now, he is, and there it is, he's, that's his domain department, is instructional, so uh, I, I stand corrected. It's not just affiliations, it's also departments. Those are the two that feed. So his is instructional systems technology, and he's a faculty member. Therefore, he shows up in the feed automatically. Uh, here we go. This is an automatic mechanism. But if I were to remove that, if I were to remove him as a faculty member, if I were to take him off from IST and remove that department and then save it, the next day after that noon o'clock updating, I'm sorry, that 12 o'clock updating, he would no longer be on this list, but he would up until noon tomorrow. So um, that is how you would um, add or remove someone from a faculty list through the feed um, and that feed is controlled by departments and affiliations in the profile of each individual person um, clearly we would need to save that preview it save it uh, I'm not going to do that right now um, and in a nutshell that is how you can edit and control profiles and also specifically edit those individuals that are showing up on any given faculty list. So if you need the authorization and access to be able to do any of these changes that we've just gone over, well then just ask us in ETS and we can get that started for you. I hope you found that helpful. Thank you very much.